Hey guys, this is Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. And today I'd like to talk to you about this uh, Blue Hawk 17 cubic feet roll behind dump cart. It, uh, it's a tilt back. And then this was for your riding mowers or your garden tractors or your yard tractors or lawn tractors. It fits just about anything. Yeah, and this was uh, what I would call a premium dump cart. You can get a less expensive one like this one here. This one I think I paid, uh, it was well over $100. I know regular price was uh, $349, which is absolutely absurd for what this is. And uh, and that's what this review is all about. At first glance, this looks like something you would want to own. It's uh, larger than a normal size dump cart. It has a much higher load capacity, larger tires. Uh, it's got these uh, nice handrails or rails for holding more brush or hay in the back and you would think all these would be positive things and again you know on the showroom floor or sitting out in front of Lowe's where I purchased this one this looked like it was going to be a great upgrade uh, from a standard steel dump cart unfortunately it is anything but an upgrade and it's it's really sad I, I, what a terrible waste of money uh, this has been so let's start with the problems and there are lots of them. Uh, the cart is designed so that these sides can come down. There's pins you can pull out and you can remove these sides or flop them down. You can either take them and just roll them all the way down and let them dangle or take them off completely and you end up with a flat piece of metal which again in theory sounds like a great thing. You could uh, put a large flat object on it that uh, exceeds the dimensions of the trailer. But the steel is not thick enough. The entire structure is flimsy. Um, and, and other than the uh, tires being of a higher quality and, and uh, able to handle more weight, the rest of this unit pales in comparison to the inexpensive models you can get that are smaller than this. So I've had to make a bunch of upgrades in order to make this thing even barely usable. And uh, that is, uh, man, the sun's going to block a lot of this, but as you can see, I've added bolts here and on the back there um, to hold this in place. You can no longer remove this. The sides and uh, the front are now welded, not welded, but bolted together. I had to do that because if you put anything in this cart with the sides up, uh, the sides would splay outward. They're such thin steel and uh, they would pop off and whatever you were holding would fall out. And on both the front and the back, I had to add these corner braces as well as bolting everything down to the frame to uh, stiffen the supports. Honestly, I need something that goes all the way up. A nice piece of angled steel that goes all the way up would be even better. But uh, this is at least passable. So I had to add that both in the front and the back. And then these rails are also not really held in by anything. They, they pop out really easily. Now the fronts have uh, uh, holes for these pins, but again, this is just cheap plastic. So if you put anything on there or any strain, it'll just break them. And I have broken them before. The sides didn't even come with pre-rolled holes for those pins. So most of the time those side rails are missing. I just take them off. Um, but for this video, I put everything back on so you can see what it's supposed to look like. The back is also really, really poorly designed. Um, again, I had to add those braces there, which means I can't fold down the sides, which is one of the reasons why I bought this unit. So now it's braced, and that helps a little with the side. You know, it, it'll just bow. I'll see if I can back up a little bit. It'll just bow outward like this if you put any weight into it. With those braces, it, it keeps it more rigid, but still not great. And uh, their idea of holding this in place is to have a pin here and a pin here that go into the slot and then pins here and here that hold it to the top and it's horrible it doesn't work well it's hard to get this thing to sit in the slot properly and it just keeps uh, wanting to pop out when the uh, when the sides cock to the side it's just terrible so what a huge disappointment now, as far as positives it does carry a lot more weight um, and it does have a lot more load capacity but what good is it if every time you throw some weight or something heavy that's stacked up in there on it 
it, the sides just pop out and it falls off, which is exactly what happens most of the time, especially before I made these modifications. So it is a dump cart. There's a, a lever right there you pull back on and the, it raises up and dumps. It has a nice long hitch on it too. But uh, the paint finish is decent. But man, if... <laughs> If you're thinking about getting a dump cart, and this is this is a Blue Hawk, which is Lowe's brand, but this cart, this exact cart, is made under several different names, um, and sold at Tractor Supply, Northern Tools, you know, I'm sure Home Depot has a version of it. I don't recommend. It. I think you're wasting your money on this. I would probably rather go with a poly cart like this one here, which is what I was going to buy until I came across this one on the clearance. Or I would just get the regular old-fashioned steel pull-behind dump cart like this one here that I've had for years and years and years. And other than replacing tires on it, uh, it is put up to a lot of abuse. So uh, this is kind of a review, but it's also kind of a heads-up. Don't waste your money on one of these. Now, unless you're planning on converting it to something else, you're going to be disappointed, especially at the prices they go for when they're not on sale. Uh, I could have bought two regular dump carts for the cost of this and I should have. I could have converted one into a water trailer or something and kept the other one for use. So that's it. I'm Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. I hope you enjoyed this little review and this kind of a heads up warning. If uh, you were considering buying one of these this spring, may I recommend uh, looking at a different model. Take care.